someone so kindly has vandalized my car. Hi people and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time watching, my name is Kara, and if you like what you see, please consider clicking that shiny red button down below to subscribe and stick around for more videos. So today is a long-awaited video that I have talked about in multiple videos on this channel. And I also started looking at new cars. I did mention in my last video that I was possibly getting a new car. Videos about that will be coming soon. And I've just never done it. I've talked about it a hundred times, I've said it was happening, and I never made a video about it. And that's talking about my new car. And there are multiple reasons why this video has been delayed. First of all, I wanted this video to kind of have a little bit of a silly element to it, like make it a little bit fun, and make it look something like this. However, recent events have completely changed that, and now the video would kind of look something like this. So, as you can see, someone so kindly has vandalized my car and put a dent in it for, for whatever reason. I'll explain that story in a minute. But originally I hadn't made this video because I wanted to have my car nice and washed and perfect and beautiful for you guys to see it and all that good stuff. And it kept raining here. I kept not having the time. A bunch of stuff just came up and I avoided the video. But now, since I need to get that situation fixed, I can't really avoid doing this much longer because who knows, it may never ever happen if I wait any longer. So here we are. First I'm going to explain what the heck happened to my car. Then I'm going to get into um, how I afforded my new car, how you can afford to get a new car, just some tips and tricks for buying a new car in case that's something you need or want to do in the future and you have no idea how the heck to do it because let me tell you I sure had no idea so let's get into what the heck happened to my car well, this happened during work I uh, went inside somewhere with work for just just like a couple of hours and I come back outside to find two dents in my car one in the back and one in the front I, I was kind of in disbelief at first I was just staring at it like is that a dent that can't be a dent. Uh, but then, you know, reality hit and there's dents in my car. So obviously I called the police, did all the right things, and they had kind of concluded that it was done on purpose because if you look at it, if someone was trying to park their car next to me, it just kind of, they said like the tra trajectory doesn't really make sense for them to hit all the way up there and then all the way back there. like. What were they doing if they did that? I also called mall security to see if there were any cameras in the area where I was parked and um, no, there weren't. However, the security, the security report does say that it was vandalism to my car and now I have to get that fixed and I don't know how long that's going to take. And this is a brand new car. I, I must have said maybe, I don't know, just a couple months ago that I was getting a new car. So I've had this car only a few months and it's already, it's not even my fault, like it's something I didn't even do, it's not even like I got in an accident or was stupid or something, it was just complete, some like jerk that decided to kick or hit my car with something. That's, that's the story there. So, I'm so lucky, so happy guys. Anyway, that would severely delay me talking about this and doing the video exactly the way I want to do it, so here we are and I'm just gonna get into the tips and tricks for buying a new car. And I'll probably insert a picture here of what my car looked like before it got hit. So my car is brand new. It is a 2018 Hyundai Elantra. It's nothing fancy, nothing crazy. I'm not balling, but it is a brand new car. And a lot of people have struggles even buying used cars and things like that. So I'm gonna give you guys some tips and trick if they tips and tricks if they're within your ability to do that might help you get a new car. 
the first tip I have for you is save money for as long as you possibly can. If you kind of know you might need a new car in a few years or something like that, or just as long as you can. If you're aware that maybe you want to get a new car, if that's a goal that you have, or if you might need a new car in X amount of time, just save as much money as you can for as long as you can so, you, so that you can put a big down payment on this car. Putting a big down payment on a car will severely, severely? Significantly? Significantly lower your monthly payments and that will make it easier for you to finance a car if that's what you need to do. Of course, if you somehow have all the money with you, like if you saved up like a good 30 grand somehow and you could pay cash for your car and you don't have a loan or any situation like that, I mean, more power to you. Of course, that's the best case scenario, but not everybody can do that. I do know some people who have done that, like more power to you. But a bigger down payment is definitely, definitely helpful if it's within your ability to do. The next tip I have for you is do not take the first offer that's put on the table. If the car salesman comes back to you and says, this is what we can do for you, this is what your monthly payments would be, this is, you know, whatever they're going to lay out on the table for you, whatever number they give you, try to talk them down. Go back and forth with them a little bit. And they will do that with you. That happened with me. I went back and forth with my guy for hours. You know, it's a long process. We went back and forth for a very long time. Eventually, we got the payments down to where I wanted them to be. And there's a couple of things that you can do also to get your payments lower. These options include leasing to buy. Um, this was not for me because I would easily go over the mileage for any lease agreement or anything like that. Um, I, won't, I can't give you too much information on lease to buy, but what happens is you basically lease the car and you get lower payments because you're leasing it. And at the end of that time, you can go and outright purchase the car. From what I understand, please look more into it. But if I did choose to do lease to buy, or if you choose to do lease to buy, your monthly payments would be a lot lower for quite some time. Also, straight out leasing a car, not lease to buy, just leasing it if your if that's in your ability I know a lot of lease agreements have like X amount of miles that you can't go over in the time of your lease I unfortunately drive a ton and that just wasn't an option for me but if you don't drive a lot and you need a new car and you don't think that you'll go over the mileage or anything in the agreement leasing is a great option usually the payments are a lot lower the lease isn't very long so you don't have to pay for a very long time or and you could just keep leasing like get a new car get a new car every time your lease is up I know that my mom does that and she gets a new car like every three years and just keeps leasing and her payments are super low so that is that's a choice if that's available to you and of course you would still have the option when you're done with the lease to buy the car what also helps when you're buying a new car is if you have good credit make sure guys make sure that at least once you're in college that you're building some sort of credit get a really low budget credit card like $500 limit even and just use it sometimes start building up that credit because when you get a car good credit does help They are going to check your credit and some of those places that are like good credit. No credit. No pro what bad credit good credit No credit. No problem um, Some of those places just aren't too legit in my experience I know I got my first credit card when I was in college. It had a very low limit but you know, I started building that credit and that really, really helped me in this situation. You know, make sure you pay your bills, do what you gotta do, and you shouldn't have a problem. Also, if, you're, if you have some credit, but maybe you haven't been building credit long enough, it's good, but not quite good enough to the car people's standards, you can consider having a cosign on a loan. Because a lot of the times when you're outright buying a new car, you're obviously gonna get a loan, have car payments, all of that kind of stuff. Consider getting a cosigner. Then you can get a much longer loan, like upwards of, not upwards of five years. You, you know, you ha have payments for a long time, but your monthly payments will be much lower. So if you get something like a seven-year loan with a cosigner, you, your monthly payments are going to go way down. And, of course, you could just pay it off quicker. You don't have to have it for seven years, but if what you think you can afford is that price, then, hey, go with a cosigner. Uh, what a cosigner is, is someone in your family or someone with, I guess, a better credit than you. You know, I don't know if it has to be someone in your family, but I mean, my dad helped me out in this situation. So just someone who is accountable, just in, ca just in case, God forbid, that you cannot continue paying this loan, they would have to take it over. So as long as you're good and you know you're not going to screw them over by not paying, maybe you can have someone cosign for you. 
Then, like I said, you can get a longer loan and that will significantly lower your monthly payments. If you have any more questions about that, just type it in the comments below. I don't know if I explained that very well, so if you're a little confused, just let me know and I'll try and help you out in the comments. Also guys, make sure that you check multiple car dealerships. Don't just go to one and say, this is it, this is the price, this is what I'm doing. Make sure that you compare because somewhere else might be able to offer you a better deal. So just make sure that you do your research and make sure you're getting the best deal on your new car. Very important guys, do not feel pressured to buy the car that day. If you need to think about it, you can walk away. Do not feel pressured. Sometimes car salesmen are gonna be really pushy, really in your face. That happened to me, actually. We were checking out a second dealership to kind of see if they can do different prices. What they wound up working up was way, way higher than the original place that we had gone to, and we actually had the car pretty much done and waiting there. We just wanted to make sure. So going to this other place didn't work out, and we were kind of like, okay, we're gonna think about it, we're gonna go. And it was like Wolf of Wall Street up in there. They had people all over. The guy was like, oh, we're gonna give you what you want. Why are you walking away from me? Uh, and then we're like, we just need to go. Like we have, we're on a time frame here. We gotta leave, we'll come back, you know, give us your card, give us your business card. The guy would not give us his business card. He walked away, got his manager. The manager comes over and it's like, oh, so-and-so is working very hard for you to make you happy. What seems to be the problem? And we're like, you're inside of us. That's what the problem is. We, we explained that we need, you know, we're gonna think about it. And, you know, we weren't gonna buy the car. It was just too much, exp too expensive. And we kept asking like, okay, dude, like we just want your business card. We'll give you a call if we decide that this is what we want. And he kept walking away and coming back and trying to work in different numbers. And we're like, oh my goodness, like really had us tied in there. And we were like, oh my gosh, we gotta go. What are we, what are we gonna do? And also it turns out this guy had the business cards in his desk and he could have just taken them out instead of walking away 600 times. But if you get in some sort of weird situation like that, just be forceful and be like, I need to think about it and I'm gonna walk away. Definitely do not feel pressured. It's a big decision, make sure that you think about it. Two last tips I have for you guys is just keep in mind that when you buy a new car, your car insurance may go up. If you uh, previously had car insurance, whatever price you're paying, it may go up when you buy a new car, depending on what kind of car it is or just in general. I can't explain to you why insurance companies do that, but it may happen to you. So when you're thinking long term about paying for the car, just keep that in mind just to make sure that you're aware of it and you have enough money to pay for everything. And the last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is if you're buying a used car, if you're not in the market for a new car and you're buying a used car, here are some tips I have for you about that. First of all, make sure you do your research on the dealership or person that you're buying the used car from. Make sure if you're going to a dealership that it's a reputable dealership. Make sure if you're buying privately that they're not a serial murderer or something like that. Just make sure you're safe and make sure it's legit and you're not getting screwed over by some skeezy car salesman that just wants to make a quick buck off of you. Once you've decided that you're at a reputable place and you see it seems okay to go ahead and try and make a deal with these people about buying the used car, listen to me very carefully. Make sure you get the car checked out by a mechanic before you purchase the car, before you do anything, okay? Listen, the reason why I'm so adamant about that is because I've seen so many people get just completely screwed over, they get the car home, and all of a sudden there's 600 things wrong with it that they didn't know prior to purchasing it, that the, the dealership or the person just didn't let them know about, and they basically have a really expensive loan for no reason, and a car that doesn't work. So make sure you get a second opinion on your car. Bring someone with you that maybe knows a lot about cars. If you can't, go to a mechanic. Just make sure that you have another pair of eyes, hopefully a knowledgeable pair of eyes, look at the car before you go anywhere. Make sure that it's okay so that you're not getting a money pit of a car that you need to keep fixing a billion jillion times and you wind up spending more money than you even paid for the car. Once you've done that, make sure you take a nice little walk around the car, under the car, around the car, in the trunk, in the interior, anywhere. Just comb the car, look through it, and make sure that there's no damage. There's no dents, dings, ripped upholstery, little things like that. Make sure you just look out for that. And 
going on to my last tip here, if there is anything wrong with the car that the mechanic or somebody told you, or if there's any dings, dents, rips, tears that are in the car, make sure that you talk the person down from their original asking price. Do not pay the original asking price for something that isn't completely as it was advertised. So you gotta get your best deal on this used car. You gotta make sure that you're getting what you pay for. So definitely don't be afraid to haggle with them if something isn't quite correct with the car. So that's all I have for you guys today. I hope that this was helpful to some of you. If you have any more questions, I will try and answer them in the comments. I'm actually a lot better at writing than I am at speaking, so please, if you need anything clarified or have any more questions, don't be afraid to leave me a comment. I would really love that. Good luck if you're looking to buy a new car. I'm gonna go get my car fixed now, so I will see you guys next time. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, click that shiny red button down below, subscribe, and hit the bell to turn on notifications so that you never miss a video. And yes, I will see you guys next time. Bye!